as you guys know, I am a third year and uh, I have not learned all. Of course, we cannot learn all the things in life. I have been getting a lot of questions about tips or tricks how to survive as a programmer here in the Philippines. Labor, I am not a professional programmer in the process of learning um, the things that I am yet to experience in the real world when it comes to programming. So, let me start. So forgive me if my voice is because my parents may hear me and it's um, 11 p.m. and I don't want to wake them up. Tip number one, master one programming language. You have to pick one programming language you have to master, at least for me, okay? The thing with programming is you don't have to learn all the languages to be good at programming you just have to learn one what applies in one programming language can be applied to all well not all the concepts maybe but the essential parts of programming the fundamentals of programming you can learn it in with any language okay so i suggest to learn one programming language what i can suggest is python i'm not a pythonista but what i can suggest you to learn first is um, either python or so python javascript they're they're easy to understand most importantly you can learn the basics the fundamentals of um programming with these two languages that i mentioned don't worry about not learning enough it will come naturally when you master one programming language what i mean by master is you understand not like not like you know it all okay you just understand it well or you understand it enough that you're confident to um to solve problems with that programming language number two um for me I use a CLI, so number two, use a command line interface, one, because you look cool when you're using a CLI, <laughs> and number two is it's a very powerful tool for every programmer out there. So just a heads up, it's not that hard. You use the CLI to navigate through, the, uh, through, the, through your directories, and um, not only that, you could do a lot of things with a CLI. I will leave it up to you to discover how a CLI is a very powerful tool for programmers or maybe I'll make another video about it. Personally, I used CLI when I learned about web development because in web dev, it's, it's a better option for you to use a CLI when you're learning web development with Node.js because you set up your own server your local host with the CLI because you um, run your local host using the CLI. So my third one is, I don't know if you will agree with me, but online courses or online boot camps is the way to go when you want to learn program. Because the thing about programming is sometimes um, it's so hard to find resources when solving a particular problem. But when it comes to these online courses, like in e Udemy, um, Coursera, or or any other um, any other platform that offer these courses for programming, they provide you with with resources. They provide you with everything, just like um, you are in school and you apply to a certain course or subject in your school. Then you, of course, you have your <clears throat> you have your lecture materials, your resources, and mm, maybe sometimes online courses may be better than what there's no, no shade okay <laughs> it's just sometimes the resources in the online courses they are much more related to what they're teaching the students online with some with some courses we have in our school like no not in our school or like any other school sometimes um, teachers give resources but we have to like navigate through the whole 900 pages of this book sometimes it's just a link or a pdf but with online courses you have these clean as resources the problems the solutions they are there and documentations even the installation of these tools that you will be using in their courses it's not that expensive 500 for a course in coursera there are free courses you can try those don't take these tools for granted or these platforms for granted because they are there for a reason number four my fourth tip it's a no-brainer okay you need to allocate focus time every day give yourself maybe one to three hours of um, coding your concentration with what you're doing it's so hard i know it's so hard to focus when you are 
using your computer because the internet is there, social media is there, it's tempting. If I see a notif, then I get distracted sometimes. Practice discipline when it comes to allocating focus time if you want to grow as a programmer. And I highly doubt you will not uh, grow as a programmer if you do this. Number five, so what happens when you learn all these things, these basic concepts? You have stored the information in your brain. What do I do now? You make projects. <coughs> Making projects is the only way you can practice yourself how to solve different kinds of problems. <coughs> you need to face a lot of different kinds of problems and applying different kinds of technical solutions that you learn that you think is the best fit for that problem so it's up to you okay it's up to you now from here on out you need to solve these problems on your own because you already have that knowledge you search for top projects to do let's say you're learning flutter search for let's say top five projects um, for flutter easy easy top five projects for flutter maybe you want to build a chat app which is a um, very good project to start with. Um, web dev, maybe uh, let's say making a RESTful API, which is a very easy thing to do, but it's still a very useful thing if you try to build some projects instead of like um, just holding it in, in your brain. <laughs>